Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, November 9th. Uh, Premier will provide a quick update. Dr. Patterson will get into specifics about the situation right now. And Minister Kusugak is here on his first official day as our new Minister of Health. We'll get right into questions after Dr. Patterson speaks. And if we could stick to one question, one follow-up, and keep going through as normal, that'd be great. There may be some difficulty with uh, the stream on the TV feed, so we apologize, but there will be a full update posted on Government of Nunavut website and all social media after. Thanks. Udlaku udlumi November 9, nagadja kadlag na to civil rakti ang makingonego Dr. Patterson na dun ay yeter na agluni. What na? Ublat siya nuno on mute. Mahan na mo tiki lugo kawin na to takwa mago nuban na yon na yung kato sa ni kilo ami kaya ni kawin na mas ni mahan na takwa mago ka ito ay atao him atao him mito. Nunaliu Iluani, I told him on it to Huli. A mamma and Mutiki do with Akwa, how you have to whom you, Nunubu Iluani, three thousand eight hundred and thirty four, how you have to him by you, Nuban Nanjua, nineteen Kangi Mangata, a six hundred and thirty four Huliman, how you have to how in Nangit to Huli, Nuban Nanjua, nineteen Kangi Mangata. It Pakamatani Saturday, Tidu with Akwa, Annette, Annette, Anda tadi cuci kutuawan nak, kan? Nubun na jauh, nubun biluan ini nak tok, kawin nak tok. Kita ni tak kuat, pekui, pekui ia buat nama anda. Ya, iswa kayi mageu pekui yang kita kuat, malit saya opti go. Tahan air terlalu lama nak tak? Agak boleh mikta lagi. Katinggal luar tengin luta, ama ublal luar tengin luta, ama anda covid, air malutit anda mukalutit. Emma, anda pun mood saya nangin lute. Uba guluk tak tak ku, tak ku maligaya, maligaya tak ku tak ku nuna likput, nagligaya ku idagaya ku mana ke chaluit, tan aik tolu idangin nak tu tan nak tak, pekoyai nak tak tak ku malit chalup tigo, tan nuna naya nanti angi gilang itu aik tolu idang itu ku tak ku nuna buat iluani, tak ku. Okey, kenal ni apa? Kau kain nak hokal waktu buat tak ku tak ku ya buat government ku nama itu aku kain mai ku agak agak buat yang macam tak lugu yang macam itu luta kani gilu aku tengin luta amat anak kani gilu aku tengin nami mea cita kau wing mi new world wing mi nami mea cia kating gilu aku tengin luta tak ku kabel na uta kau ta itu lugu six feet kani gilu aku tengin luta Amat anak nuvan na jauh teman nu 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 iluan ini lek tu keluar mana kerja ucap ni agap tak tak kau ingat kau tiba luar jauh mana kerja ni agap tu tanah tu hau mati tu 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 hau mati China ni ama agap tak tanah nu nu iluan ni matna. Good morning. We now have two confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Sanikilwa. There is no evidence of community transmission in these two cases. It is considered household transmission, and the total number of persons followed to date is 3,834, and there are 634 persons currently being followed. A rapid response team arrived in Sanikilwa on, sat on Saturday to help the team on the ground and to ensure more resources are available to help with contact tracing and testing as necessary. We have always said it would be when and not if COVID-19 arrives in Nunavut. Now that, it, now that we are here, it is time to act and respond accordingly. We know the public health measures and now all Nunavut mute should be practicing them, practicing them consistently. We all have the responsibility to act as caring community members and do what we can to keep one another safe. Please wash your hands and often. Please practice social and physical distancing at the store, in your workplace, at the post office, and wherever there are crowds. Please regularly wash frequently used areas. Always stay home if you feel sick. 
Remember that your actions impact everyone's health during a pandemic. Thank you. Good morning. Um, over the weekend, we confirmed a second positive case of COVID-19 in Santa Kilowack. The testing was done in Iqaluit, where our lab is uh, validated for confirmatory testing. The new positive is case is living in the same household with the first individual, and there is no evidence of community transmission. The second individual is asymptomatic and doing well. On Friday, we decided to deploy a rapid response team to assist the staff on the ground in Santa Kilowack. One nurse and one logistician were dispatched to help with contact tracing. A third nurse will be flown to the community today. Um, and the rapid response team is being assisted remotely by virtual public health nurses who are contacting people by phone. Good luck. Good. Pinasawa ko siyo nung wani narunat sila wata ay pangani nuwag jawan nato kami. Tumi 19 misa ni kiduang ni. Kawi sa doktor doktor ay karung ni. Kawi sa big boot. Na magayos si madlune narunay yai nang mo kawi sa inang ni. Nuta nuwag na ato si tay nang mo iglumi to take take sa mane si budlang mo nuwag jawan nato kami. Kisa na di si rinu na rinu siya magpaliang nito ni. I panga inuk can we too young is luni, can we is lunilu. Uluti not to look go out luck to the law to go to have a knock to the rebu, Ikayorak to look to go. A canayakti needs an ekilwami. A tossi arnia city and my tossi canayakti, a kayorakti to our river, how you saw our city. Being a young and arnia city me, no nothing no more your can and may you ulumi. To have a natural yiku, Ikayok to your car to yaku, unless you tell a yiku, or command on nothing mutiny. Ah, inum no Okarukatak doing. Contact tracing is ongoing and samples are being sent daily to a Kaluit for testing. To date, all high risk contacts identified are in the community of Santa Kilowack. I realize that there is a lot of anxiety and uncertainty right now. But the best thing we can do is work together. If public health nurses are calling, please answer the phone. Your information will be kept confidential. If you have symptoms, it is important that you contact your health center immediately. Cooperating with the health care workers will help us prevent the spread of this virus. <laughs> Kau yang sakit itu lo kau teman nak siu jangan nak suci kerana no kau yang sakit tahun yang lalu tu udah memu ah udah gaya nara nara nak tahu si marak tu ini nara ini nara nang itu kerana si buah nak tahu kerana kerana mana nara nara nak suci kisahnya akau ramai di ah pilih katigi gun nak tahu tak kau ane siu tu ukara kita kiri siu ukara uti si if we mix our own, I will talk to you again. 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 On Sunday, we were advised by Manitoba Public Health that a Nunavut resident at the medical travel isolation site in Winnipeg has tested positive for COVID-19. It is unlikely that this case in Winnipeg is related to the cases in Santa Kilowack. This individual is doing well and has been following the isolation procedures. Information currently available points to the individual being exposed to the virus before entering isolation and we believe that there is little risk of transmission to other hotel guests. The individual is isolated and not allowed to leave their room at this time. Nanti ngaji awak tidur tu sakti tarawat pertama ni tahu bahawa anak kang nanti curi lagi kungin ni nuna boleh mewujud me. Anak yang belajar semaju me ini tu aku ingin me wujud peg me nuwang jual nak nineteen kali lawan. Teman nan wujud peg mingang itu solu ni tuang ane ngan usaha ngan keluaran. Tanah ini kan orang itu mari cang ini nak suni lu ini tu aku ingin me tanya kah kang nanti. Tak kuat 
inu kuperwajung mo sa kaya nga isilang ng nga inu inu tuakwing mo pero sa klotero uroga na rato kang ng masaya magyak sa ng ne asing ng no tuyong maging mito nun tana inu inu tuakwing mito Finally, we have received reports of healthcare staff who have faced criticism and verbal abuse in some communities since the case of COVID-19 was announced. These men and women are coming from the South to provide essential services and play an important part in providing care across the territory. There are strict guidelines in place to ensure that they follow public health measures. We understand that there is worry about people who do not isolate before coming to Nunavut, but there are situations that the harm of not bringing people up quickly could be significant. We do everything we can to ensure the risk of anyone entering the territory as a critical worker is low. Thank you. King Ulakpame to Sakti Tausi Madagata Anna Siutilari Kuni Ikana Yaktini. Na magiya na tig o kapilog view vaklutig lu ilang ni nuna ring ni taman na nuvag jang na nineteen o kausir o tig lu ko. Taka ang ote ang na ilu kalunan ng aktuit piyaga kalagit ni piyitcha hari pimareyuni pilaga kang mata pakinang ni nuna bumi ukwa marikta o yaga kalagit ni marik maring na luti kikuti namno ane aktaile manang mo ngayon nun. Tukisi yung mayugo isumarag tui inung nun inutuwa kuwing mga katangit tui nun avong mo utilaw ng itilugi. Kisi ane tao uro kaya naman inung ni mga ngak titikap tungin na perjuwang na yang man. Kanwili yung asuri mga katakpugo uro kaya naroa Konagi nuna vuma pala yee piya ka kalagay tunun kanayak tunun ating man kaya naman. Go ahead. Kent Driscoll, APTN National News. Dr. Patterson, how many people in Santa Kilowak are currently being followed by public health? In other words, being investigated for possibly having COVID-19. Kent APTN kuna. Dr. Patterson, kasi li inui marik tau mata ilagi ila kawi saktau si marang mata taikan inu narig ni. As of yesterday morning, it was there were eleven other people listed as contacts, but there with the new news of the second positive case, that number has certainly gone up over the last twenty four hours. We get our we have our daily outbreak meeting right now, so I won't know what the current number is till this afternoon. Ipagsa ulat ko eleven kawi sakto si Marakti ay pangani nuvag jong nineteen takarakti lugo ko varag si Marakti tiglu ikagat twenty four ang Marakti man naro katimay naraktu ko tu sakti tiga katay nang naradlo taro. Dr. Patterson, how many people are in isolation for their fourteen days, waiting to get back to Santa Kilowak, and when can they? Reasonably expect to do so. Dr. Patterson, kasi yung matrite ko ay nuto ako ving may tu, inuto yaga kaklote uldono fourteen nun utak kayo utak padlian yung kaklote sa nikilang mo. I don't know the exact number. There may be some of them able to return home as early as tomorrow. Ilang kawi malaking ito ng kasi malaking mga kisya ni ilang utak padlian yung kaklote kilang mera ay makakalpan. Jackie McKay, CBC News. Jackie McKay, CBC News. For the contact tracing, um, have there been people identified outside uh, Sani Kilowak that have um, been traced to the case? There's been nobody identified as a high-risk contact. There were a few people who had were in Santa Kilowak and had left on the day that the first individual developed symptoms. They are either they either had no contact or very low-risk contact. I'm sorry. 
Which part? Sorry. Right from the beginning. Oh, uh, there were a few individuals in Sandy Kilowack at the time that the first individuals uh, developed symptoms. They may lack a surgery in me. Can we do your rock to Sandy Kilowack? Uh, they are those people um, because they're very low risk. They've only been advised to self-monitor for the 14 days after they left Senegalwak. Okay. Are you able to say um, if those people are, are in other Nunavut communities? Yes, they are. Uh, Dustin Batard, Nunaziak News. How many flights, uh, I know that you said that there was a flight that was supposed to go to Santa Kilowack yesterday that was delayed. How many other flights have been delayed so far? Just in uh, CBC News, couldn't it? Really? Uh, because I was going to take a look at my I was going to take a look at my Just the one on Sunday. It's the only one that I know of. I was going to take a look at my work. Depending on the timeline for people in isolation hubs being able to return to Santa Kilowack, is there any concern about a backlog in the isolation hubs? Um, a little bit. The medical isolation hub is having some capacity issues, so we are that the other hub has the other hotel in Winnipeg has capacity and so some people uh, will not be able to get into the one but have to go to the other Oh, they'll have to go in people who wanted to go into one hub may have to go to the other one because of the uh, people can't leave the first hub. Ila tay may la asiano nga inutwak kuving mora kang nati asingi aniyaga kajang ng matatay kunanga. Emma Tranter, the Canadian Press. You said all the tests from Sunny Kilowak are being sent here. Um, what's the turnaround time for that right now? Da kunanga the Canadian Press kuninga sa ni tay mao kakaoga vita mao nga kawi sakto yakto katang mata. Right now, it, most of them are the turnaround time is less than 24 hours. Is that because you have a charter flying in and out? That's correct. Uh, uh, has extra PPE and hand sanitizer have have they since been sent to Santa Kilowack yet or, or Trevor Wright Nunavut News? The Makua Nangwini Sapum Mejuti Pikuti Naxu Josie Marapa Amaro Agano Saro Marsauti Santa Kilowama Naxu Josie Mani Lakpa. Yeah, we flew in some extra PPE with the rapid response team on Friday. Um, and with the charter going in and out, we can send in more if needed. Uh, some concerns about um, security guards at the isolation centers down south possibly contracting it, or are they following? The um, public health measures down there. Ila isumaru tita kagatag matakal dunane ino tuwa kuwing ne ikuwa maritje kagatuguruan. 
Yeah, there's a number of things that we're doing um, in order to minimize the risk of people getting exposed to COVID at the uh, isolation hotels. E um kanoi liu katak tu garu tamakuna ni inu tuaku wing ni. Number of things that we're doing to minimize the exposure of COVID at the isolation hubs. Um, so the guards are being, staff, not just guards, but staff are being screened for symptoms of COVID-19 at the start of each shift. Staff are expected to wear masks um, and they're expected to maintain distancing and separation from each other and from people in isolation at all times. Uh, Minister Kusagak, please. And this sort of goes to your previous job and your current one, so I think you're the right guy for this one. Minister Kusagak, uh, Minister Kusagak, when you look on the Facebook page in Santa Kilowak, they're down to one sewer truck and you see lots of people asking for water fill up. I'm wondering, uh, has the health department or your previous department, are you taking any steps to help with water delivery in Santa Kilowak because water helps when it comes to keeping things clean? They may la Facebook go karimax makatragame uh they go go at also my middle out of Kamata in Mataulu uh Anna Kanganga Juragai Kanwilio with the Karayakban in Maktaum. Thank you for the question. Uh, from what I know, uh, uh, before I became a minister this morning, I was uh, very well briefed on the situation in Senekiroa. I assure you that uh, the Department of uh, Community and Government Services was on the file uh, immediately on finding out uh, what happened with the sewage truck, and uh, the, the departmental staff are on top of it, and, and they're looking at uh, what they need to do to uh, ensure that the uh, current vehicle is usable, and if it's not going to be, They'll be going over the uh, situation to see how they can rectify the situation. And just to follow up, I'm wondering what other whole of government help the people in Santa Kilowatt can be expecting. I'm wondering, is there plans for any other departments that have special ideas for the COVID response? I'm wondering what in total outside of the outside of CGS and health do you expect to be going to Santa Kilowatt? I think right now uh, we're following the guidance of Dr. Patterson. I'm sorry. Do you want me to repeat it? I can repeat it. I can, re I can repeat it more clear. I, I, I'll, I'll do it for you. Thank you. 
it's a very good question. I think uh, we are on top of the file uh, with the leadership of our Premier. All the departments are uh, uh, briefing uh, each other and, and working very closely to see how they could help. Uh, the, the example of community and government services is there. The, our Department of Health is on top of the file working with our Premier and with the public uh, health officer. We also know that uh, the Departments of Education and Family Services and others are there uh, to ensure that the community is calm and that the situation is under control. There are many other uh, possible things that we could do uh, as, as a government to support the community. There are mental health workers who are uh, on standby and who could uh, help those who have uh, mental health issues that would like to have uh, video support or uh, audio, uh, telephone support and services. So I think the government as a whole is taking a look at how each department could uh, help uh, the people of Sanikiloak. And, and the first priority is to keep people of Sanikiloak informed so that they're at a, a calm level and, and we'll go from there. Jackie McKay, CBC News. Um, this question is for rather the health minister or Dr. Patterson. I'll let you know. Uh, you guys can decide who can answer it. But um, for the PPE being sent to Sandy Kilowack, is there any, is that, is that going to be distributed to residents in that community? Jackie McKay, CBC News. Patterson, ata kuninga sa pumijuti nang mini anoga ila pekuti tsani kilo ang manak siu jauner tweet nunaring mio tsana tuna kaktao na yapan yeah there was uh, 700 and s little over 700 non medical masks as part of that shipment which was intended to be distributed nak siu jauner ang tweet 700 ungata ni paru tamak kuninga matuwa ko tsini inung no tuna kaktao na yapati nunaring mio no is there any more information about how people can get that those masks? My understanding is it was to be delivered to the hamlet for distribution, but I, I'll double check on that. Dustin Mutar, and that's Yak News. I was just wondering if you could say why the rapid response team, why the decision was made to deploy them on Friday. Uh, Dustin, and that's Yak News, good night. Can I leave what I got to have on the day you could have more you not see long with On Friday afternoon, it became clear that, that there were a few more people who needed investigation, and in order to get the contact tracing done as quickly as possible to limit the time we have to stay with the severe restrictions the the that's the reason for the decision can you go over who how you decide who gets tested it's people who are higher risk contacts where there's uh, the, we literally compare ideally the, ma the chance of them having COVID-19 versus the chance of it being a false positive and the, the harms from the isolation and that sort of stuff. And when one is greater than the other, we test and we isolate and test. Okay, um how you sat over the young matter. Take worry, Langi, uh, swing it to me, not run next to suit. 
amara tekwa inu tuaku wing mesu urawena rangu yu kau yisak tau na sokat taktu. And the chanter of the Canadian press, how many people have been put into isolation uh, in relation to this case in Sunny Kilowak? Uh, Canadian press kunele kasili inu inu tuaku wing mo kuyo si marapa Sunny Kilowak. As of yesterday morning, there were the two people with COVID-19 and 11 others under isolation. There's probably more by now, but we just haven't gotten the updated information for today. And are these people isolated in their home, or is there any talk about um, uh, additional space for, as you say, there will be more people who need to isolate? Right now they're isolating where they were already staying. Jackie McKay, CBC News. Um, the, for the positive case um, in the isolation hub in Winnipeg, will that delay people in that hub coming back to their communities? Jackie McKay, CBC, could you take one in a with me to Winnipeg me? What's the rest of the question? Will the people who are in the isolation hub with the, in Winnipeg with the positive case, will they be delayed going back to their communities because of that case? They may take one in a talk of me to when a pig me, a connect can not to me with jar on a pita caroling and a sanicillum. We're working on sorting that out with Manitoba Public Health because they have jurisdiction over this. Right now, we have not identified anybody who needs to stay in the hub any longer uh, because of this case. They may let a man. When a pig go on a car and a tutor, you couldn't come a young mat down and it take over a pion on the carving matter, pion on the cock, matter down any, not an actor, see my young man is to me, a cone can not to me in a talk giving me to car a car a young man. Giving um, this evolving situation, is there um, any talk about uh, restricting the NWT travel bubble? They married the man out of the no, right now this has no impact on the common travel area with the Northwest Territories or with Churchill, Manitoba. Kent Driscoll, APTN National News. Uh, Dr. Patterson, considering there are active cases in Santa Kilowak, do you reconsider what you would label an essential employee? Do you restrict who can travel to the community as far as essential employees go? Kent, APTN, Kunne, Temari, Isimaksaksiu, Kanang, Nara, Rebesi, Kanui, Tui, Piyara, Kalari, Tui, Kanayak, Tiu, Mangata. Do you mean traveling into Sandy Kilowak in yes, the midst of an outbreak? Yes, traveling into Sandy Kilowak. Or do you tighten, do you, yeah, do you close the gate, essentially? Do you allow the same amount of people through? Matu to visit you, to keep the place, you have 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 to keep the place. Well, it gets back to that question you asked about the sewer truck. like. There are certain critical services that have to run and no matter what. And so if the Hamlet and CGS said we need to move staff in to keep this service running, we find ways to make it happen. So not really. Like we do a, we do a more thorough risk assessment, but critical services have to keep functioning. So Dustin Patar, Nanatiak News. 
On the subject of PPE and masks, are there any plans? I've heard that there may be a shortage of cleaning supplies in the community. Are there any plans to distribute sanitizers or cleaning supplies? Then, they go mix on. Nang minisa put jisema nang mupekuti. I forgot your question. I'm sorry. Are there any plans to distribute uh, hand sanitizer or cleaning supplies in the community? Kama kuninga saro maksauti no agano overone asinga no saro maksauti no tunyo kanya pisi. It's the first I've heard that there's a problem with that. If we hear of that, we if if it's a definite problem, there are some supplies that we could send to Sandy Kilowatt to alleviate that shortage. Si wala party ay mitaman na tisa ako. Do you know how many people that are currently in Santa Kilowatt that aren't from there that happen to be stuck there currently, and what's the plan for them? I don't know the number. The plan is once we've sorted out the initial contact tracing and can be uh, certain that there's no, or certain that we've identified any uh, risk of community transmission, then we can look at mm, relaxing the measures to allow people to more easily travel out. <laughs> But if there's somebody who needs to travel out for medical reasons or other grounds, we have um, made arrangements for that to happen in the past and would can, would do so again. Kent Driscoll, EPTN National News. Uh, Dr. Patterson, you mentioned earlier about uh, some harassment of essential workers who have arrived in the territory. I'm wondering if you could tell us anything more just about uh, the scale of that. Is this just nasty Facebook comments? Are people getting uh, confronted? And how widespread is this? Kent, EPTN News, good ila i de facebook ko taman na di kanuti gi atokta wakyang ay tamani i don't know the full details of it i know that there's been sporadic incidents in the past and i know that there's been concerns as well um i'd have to look into it to get your details on it though ila kaw yema rang tunga na rune ya tiak sima yum na kaw yema ng tunga tu sak sima garak pak sima garak tunga kang awrak tini the last part was I'd, I'd have to look into it to get the details news why switch from the testing in Winnipeg to testing in a colleague because we can control the turnaround time much more easily if we keep it in territory and um, in the midst of trying to sort out community transmission, waiting three to four days to get answers is not appropriate. Akunin ng nagsawa na yaklo na kawisang ni, they made it.